with. Until very recently, we were all focused on the Office of the Special Counsel, Robert Mueller, and the investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 election. That's already led to indictments or plea deals involving Michael Flynn, Paul Manafort, Rick Gates, George Papadopoulos, a dozen Russian intelligence officers, more than a dozen Russian nationals, and three Russian companies. Along the way, Mueller also referred the matter of Michael Cohen to the Southern District of New York since Cohen's crimes didn't appear to come under the umbrella of Mueller's Russia investigation. But just look what that now has led to. Not only to Michael Cohen pleading guilty to eight felony counts, but to a criminal investigation which may implicate both the Trump Organization and certain unnamed executives who aided in the illegal hush money scheme. That also led to a grant of immunity to the National Enquirer publisher David Pecker and to Trump Org CFO Alan Weisselberg. Meanwhile, the state of New York started its own line of inquiry. They filed a civil suit against the Trump Foundation as well as referring its findings to both the IRS and the FEC, which may or may not act on that information. And now we know the Manhattan DA is also eyeing the Trump Organization. All of this raises the question, how likely is it that one or more of these lines of criminal and civil investigation will lead back to the man at the top, Donald Trump?